Welcome to AgriVista, where we explore topics in agriculture. This show is produced by the digital media students at Buena Vista University for you. Remember, at BVU, we are developing your future one experience at a time. I'm here with Jennifer Hetch, and today we are discussing the idea that successful ag professionals and farmer entrepreneurs anticipate the interests of consumers by researching trends. Now, why should a farmer who's raising commercial feedlot cattle be concerned with researching current consumer trends? Well, in business, things change all the time. Agriculture isn't any different. So one of the things that people look for today in agriculture is locally grown products and sustainable products. And so that's something that um, if you are um, looking in that or working in that niche area that um, you can make a higher profit margin. And so within um, the Storm Lake area, we have um, the Smoke and Hereford restaurant. It's a um, popular attraction with BVU students and they have locally grown beef at Coon, um, I think it's Coon Rivers um, in, that's right in Nemaha, Iowa. So that's an example of a product that's locally grown um, that is very popular in the local market. Yeah, that's really interesting. So ag businesses need to look at consumer trends to try to position themselves for success tomorrow? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I used to work at John Deere and we don't just manufacture equipment. So um, that was way back in the days when they started. That was the focus. But in today's world, there's so much more focus on data and how farmers can use that to um, reduce the number of inputs they're using and increase the production output that they have. So um, one of the places that I worked was um, at the where they actually do the engineering for the precision ag. And you have the little yellow bubbles on the on the tractors that you see that um, are collecting all of that data and again we're going to use that to become um, more productive out in the field okay. so how could a young farmer use the idea of researching consumer trends to their benefit yeah so if a trend is such as the um, the local markets where people want the locally grown sustainable foods um, you can get a higher profit margin when we think of farming a lot of times your um, Revenue is really subject to what the commodity markets are doing and your expenses don't vary quite as much. And so the profit margins can be rather low. But if we focus on a niche market where there's not as many competitors, then you can um, increase the revenue that you can charge and hopefully increase your profit margin. Awesome. I, I see what you mean. And I want to thank you once again for speaking with us today. Thank you for joining us today for another edition of AgriVista. Remember, at Buena Vista University, we are building your future in agriculture, one experience at a time. For more information, visit www.bvu.edu.